All right, in this video, we're gonna look at toggling and changing colors on the fly now. I did mention this in the video I posted last week on toggling and changing backgrounds on the fly. I actually did a tutorial on this in the past. However, this is a slightly different way, and in my opinion, a faster way as well. So I have the blues and blacks, as you can see on my custom live wallpaper right now. I can change, obviously that's black on black, so we can't see a daggone thing, but I can change all of these colors in here to reds. And then what I can also do is I can take the black that we have here and I can change its color as well. So now I have a green and I can change my red maybe to like a black to give a slightly different effect to my custom live wallpaper. But anyway, the point is I'm changing these colors on the fly without having to go into my advanced editor and changing the globals inside of there. With all that said, let me go ahead and show you how to do this. So here's the tutorial that I had last week where I was changing the backgrounds on the fly. I'm going to take this entire preset here and I'm just going to add two text items. So I have these two text items here and I'm just going to show you how we can do this. I'm going to go over to globals. And we're going to do something remotely similar to what we did last week where I had BG1, BG2, BG3, and BG4. And then we use the BG num list global to toggle through these. Well, very similar. Let's add four colors here. So I'm going to call it C1, C2, C3, and C4. So I have my four colors. I'm going to go ahead and apply a color to each one of these. Since I have two items that I want to toggle the colors for separately, I'm going to create two list globals, one for the time color and one for the date color. Inside of the time color, how many ever colors you have, I've created four color globals, so I'm going to do one comma two comma three comma four to match up with the C1, C2, C3, C4. I'll set time C to one or whatever. Very similar for the date color, create a list, and give it one, two, three, four as well. So I have a time C and a date C. This is for our colors for our time and our date, and now we can start creating some buttons to toggle through these. I'm going to go back into the overlap group where I have these images, and inside of this overlap group, I'm just going to add a shape just for simplistic purposes. So for this shape here that I have a square, I'm going to position it in the center left, which is going to put it over here. You can see that little red outline right there. Bump it size up a little bit. I'll go to paint and I'm going to let this be the time color. So here's how we can do this. For the color, I'm going to apply code. For now, I'm going to select the global C1. So this is going to be whatever I had for my C1 color, which it must be red. However, I want this to change dynamically when I touch this button that I'm creating. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to come and delete this one. And since we had a, another global, a list that had a one comma two comma three comma four, I'm going to put a plus. I'm going to come down to time color. And now this GV time C can be a one, a two, a three, or a four. Now, how can we toggle through this? I'm going to go to this button that I'm creating. I'm going to touch. I'm going to toggle the time C list global. And I'm just going to pick next value. All right. So now when I touch this, I should be toggling. This square should change colors. As you can see, it is. Now, all I have to do next is go up to my time and apply a very similar code to it as well. So coming to my time, going to the paint, apply code, and let's do the same code we did for our button. Quick way to do that, I'm just going to pick C1, I'm going to delete the one, put a plus, and I'm going to use that time C list global. This will return a C1, C2, C3, or C4. But again, you could add more colors and add those same amount of numbers to the list global and it should toggle through all of those. So now whatever color I have down here should match up here. As you can see, red matches up with the red, etc. All of that with what we did last week, we can even toggle through all of our wallpapers and we can get these colors to change as well. 
So the next piece, I'm just gonna fast forward through it. I'm gonna do something very similar to my date, except I'm going to incorporate the date color list global, the date C, not the time C. And I'll tell you what, a way to do this quicker actually is I'm going to delete uh, this one here. I'm going to copy and paste. I'm going to take this time piece here. I'm going to position it in the center. I'm going to change the text to a date instead of a time. Bump down the size. Go to its paint. Go to its code and change the time C to a date C. That's one way we could do it very quickly by copying and pasting. Now this is just going to stay green, but when I come in here and toggle this, notice the only one changing is the time because I've changed the color code for this date. What we need to do next is come back into our overlap group. Let's create another button. So I'm copying that square button there. Copy, paste, position this in the center right. Let's go to its touch. Let's toggle not time C, but let's toggle the date C. And let's also make sure we go back to the paint for this button here and let's change its code as well from time C to date C right there. And what we should have if we save this, go back to the home screen, touching this one should change my time color as you can see, and it will go through all four colors. Touching this one here should change this green to whatever, blue, yellow, red, and as you can see, this one, these two colors are matching just like these two. And there we have it, a very similar approach to what we covered last week with toggling and changing backgrounds on the fly. We can now toggle and change colors on the fly. Sure, I understand there are other ways of doing this, but all we need to do here, if we wanted to add more colors, we could simply go do a C5, C6, C7, and go add five comma six comma seven to each individual list, and bam, we would have those additional colors to toggle through as well. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.